Nearly three months after his arrest for DWI in Sag Harbor, New York, Justin Timberlake has been trying to make amends with his wife Jessica Beale. In light of his June 18th arrest, the 10-time Grammy winner, 43, who entered a guilty plea to driving while intoxicated in connection with the incident last month, has done everything he can to mend fences with his wife, 42, an insider close to the family claimed on Tuesday. As they raise their two kids, Phineas, age 4, and Silas, age 9, the sexy back singer and candy star, who was not happy about the widely publicized arrest, have been very busy working and basically focus on family time when they're off, the person claimed. According to the insider, They've been married for a long time and have to work on their marriage like most couples. Both have been quite busy with their jobs throughout this turbulent period. Beale has been working on back-to-back -back projects like The Better Sister on Amazon, while Timberlake is carrying out his Forget Tomorrow World Tour, which he stated specifically during his previous arrest. The insider stated that although being working parents is never easy, which might complicate matters in the relationship, they're both pleased that it's behind them now. The singer of Can't Stop the Feeling and the former member of Seventh Heaven are both committed to staying married in spite of the difficulties, the insider claimed. The insider said, Jess thinks he's a great dad. They make a fantastic team. During his October 4th performance at the Bell Center in Montreal, Timberlake made reference to Beale, mentioning their 12-year married anniversary. It's also a really significant evening for me. My wife is here tonight he added during the event. It's also our 12-year anniversary tonight. Hence Montreal, please be kind to her, as she is sharing me with all of you tonight. Putting his hand on Beale's chest, Timberlake said, I love you, baby. Wouldn't want to spend it anywhere else. Beale captioned a video of the passionate discussion that she shared on Instagram stories. Shortly after entering a guilty plea, the singer of the song What Goes Around, comes around advise drivers not to operate a vehicle after consuming even one alcoholic beverage as part of his plea agreement. The September 13 public safety announcement in front of the Sag Harbor Police Department was a part of the plea agreement that reduced the misdemeanor charge he was facing to a non-criminal traffic infraction. The former member of the boy band who is now a solo performer and actor was also given a $500 fine with a $260 surcharge 25 hours of community service at any charitable organization, and a 90-day license suspension. Following the hearing in the nearby Sag Harbor Village Court, Timberlake said to the reporters and other spectators, I try to hold myself to a very high standard for myself and this was not that. Don't get behind the wheel of a car even if you've had one drink, he urged. There are a ton of options. Make a pal a call. Use an Uber. Numerous travel apps exist. But nonetheless, hail a cab. Although I committed this error, I hope that whoever is currently watching and listening can take something positive away from it. I'm positive that I have. Similar remarks were made by the NSYNC member throughout the court proceedings, expressing that he was raised in a small town and understood the impact his arrest has had on Sag Harbor. Nestled in the Hamptons, an area of beachfront settlements about 100 miles east of New York City, is the former whaling village featured in Herman Melville's classic novel Moby Dick. On June 18, Timberlake was taken into custody shortly after midnight, according to the police, after he allegedly ran a stop sign in the middle of the town, drifted out of his lane, and exited his BMW with an alcoholic stench. According to the police, Timberlake informed the man he was going home with some pals after having one martini. On the initial misdemeanor allegation of driving while intoxicated, he entered a not guilty plea. After giving his actions a lot of thought, Timberlake told the court he was grateful for the opportunity to move forward and that he hoped to utilize his position to help others make better decisions. I ought to have used better judgment, he told the magistrate. I recognize the gravity of this situation. Since Timberlake was a first-time offender, Judge Carl Iray stated that he did not object to the charge being reduced against him. He also commended Timberlake for speaking honestly and from the heart. However, he questioned whether the suggested penalty was suitable and dismissed Timberlake's planned public statement shortly after the court proceedings as unsatisfactory. The singer would have extra time to consider his behavior, according to iRace, who suggested adding a community service requirement. My experience is that these conditions can prove helpful and even gratifying for the accused, iRace said. 
The judge was informed by Prosecutor Patrick O'Connell that while they had considered recommending community service, they felt that Timberlake's statement would be a more worthwhile public duty due to its potential to impact a younger generation globally. He further stated that Timberlake's statement should demonstrate that no one is above the law, including those with fame and fortune. Following the hearing, Suffolk County District Attorney Ray Tierney stated in a statement, Mr. Timberlake received the same treatment as any other defendant. Everyone deserves the same level of justice, regardless of their financial situation or level of celebrity. A mother from the area whose 12-year-old son was murdered by an intoxicated motorist in 2018 was present in the courtroom on Friday. Elisa McMorris, who currently oversees a foundation in honor of her son Andrew, expressed her hope that Timberlake's comments will increase public awareness of the risks associated with drunk driving. After the hearing on Friday, Edward Burke Jr., Timberlake's lawyer, insisted outside of court that his client had only one drink at the American Hotel in the two hours before his detention. Burke stated, The lesser charge Timberlake pleaded to is consistent with these facts, and refuted reports that he was drinking other people's drinks or warned not to drive. During the hearing, Timberlake made a pledge to Judge Iris that he would never go back to driving after drinking. The judge, who had spoken in a serious manner up until now, joked, but come back to Sag Harbor. It's an amazing place.